Dear students, here in this lecture, we are going to explain our power principle. Our power principle basically tells us about the electronic configurations, that is, how we can fill the subshell within the atoms according to their energy. Okay, now what is actually the of our principles and how we can explain it? Um, uh, word of bow of bow principle and what is mean by this basically it is the uh, German word and its origin is German and it means that building up principle building up principle We can also, we also call it like the off-bow rule. Off-bow rule. So, how we can state it? We can state the off-bow principles that ground state, ground state of an atom, of an atom, ion, ion or molecule fill the subshell fill the subshells of lowest energy state of lowest energy state so what does it mean? It means that uh, it means that the uh, subshell with the lowest energy will be filled first, and then with electron will go to the subshell with the higher energy. For example, for example, we have uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus with atomic number is the fifteen. So its electronic configuration is the 1s2 and 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p3. So its electronic configuration is like this one. Here uh, the first electron will go to the 1s subshell, then it will go to the 2s subshell then 2p6, then 3s2, and then at the end, they will go to the higher energy orbital 3p3 orbitals. So the electron filling of electron will be in the order of an increasing energy level. That is, they will go from lower energy state to the higher energy states. So here again, we have a logic that here, and these electrons are called as the core electron. These are the core electron and these are the valence electron. These electrons are called as the valence electron. So we can replace the core electron uh, with uh, the sample of noble gas. So here we can write the phosphorus as neon and 3s2 3p3 so we can write the electronic configuration of uh, of the phosphorus like this one so an e represents the inertial electron that is 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 these are the core electron which match the electronic configuration of the noble gas neon and these 3s2 and 3p3 are the valence shells. These are the higher energy shell. These are the valence shells. So they will uh, they will be uh, filled after the uh, after filling the uh, core electron configuration. So here um, now we can explain it uh, from the periodic table here. This is the periodic table of an element, and this one is the first group. This is the second, third, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, these are the total, I think uh, these are all 18 group of the element. And here you can see in the periodic table, that is in the period here in the horizontal row, as we go from one atom to another atom, that is as we go from helium, uh, hydrogen, uh, from hydrogen, which has atomic number one, that is it has the one electron to helium, which has the two electron. As we go from hydrogen, the helium element, uh, the atomic numbers um, uh, increases. That is here the one proton and one electron are added each time. That is again when we go from helium to the lithium, lithium with atomic number three. And then from beryllium, which has the atomic number four. And then here we have atomic number uh, three and boron we have the atomic number five then carbon six nitrogen seven oxygen atomic number eight then fluorine then neon so here uh, as we go from one element to another element in a period in the periodic table the electron are added each time that is the so we can say that the maximum number of the electron uh uh, in the atom or in any shell it can be equals to 2 and square that is 2 and square it represents the maximum number of electron within the sub shell uh, which can be filled within the sub shells so here we know that we have the quantum number n we have the quantum number uh, L and then we have ML and then quantum number MS. So these here, the, this one is the principal quantum number, and principal quantum number it represents the number of principal shells. That is, K uh, one. It has the value of one, two, three, four. Corresponds to the K, L, M, and M shell and up to so on. And L represents the orbital so it can as the value 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 0 cross points to the L subshell 1 cross point to the P subshell and 2 cross point to D subshell and 3 F and up to so on so that the maximum number of electron in any subshell that is here L represents the orbital which is the orbital quantum number it represents the subshells so the maximum number of electron in uh, this in the subshell should be equals to 2 into 2 l plus 1 so that is it, it could be equal to the uh, 2 to 2 l plus 1 uh, 12 plus 1 and here this is the maximum number of electron 2 and square represents the maximum number of electron in the shell in any shell that is k l m or n shell and 2 into 12 plus 1 represents the maximum number of electron in the sub shell l is also called as azimuthal quantum number as well we also call it azimuthal quantum number so uh, here uh, the maximum number of electron uh, in any shell any shell can be first for example the k shell it can have uh, for k shell n is equals to one so it can have the two electron for l it is equals to two so it can has at the maximum it can has eight electron um, so in in this way we can have a, a different number of electron can be occupied uh, by them according to this formula we can find out the number of electron uh, which can be occupied by uh, any any shell okay so 
so uh, the electron in the shell and principal shell that is k l m n they are filled according to 2 n square rule that is the first shell can have the two according to this rule for this one n is equals to 2 it can have the 8 electron 10 10 electron up to so on so here we can follow the formula this one and l can contain that is orbital quantum number which represent the subshell s b d f corresponding to value of l 0 1 2 3 up to so on so it uh, shell it can hear the electron fill according to the formula as i have already told you that is 2 into 2 l plus one so it contained one p contained the six electron d at the most 10 electron f can 14 and up to so on so here and the ground state we can st say that the ground state of electronic configuration can be built up by placing the electron first in the lower energy state and until uh, uh, the total number of electrons are added to the uh, are added to the atom which is equal to its atomic number thus the subshells are filled in order of increasing energy levels so they will they will follow the two rules here the rule which is followed by the of principle here the first rule is that electron are assigned to the subshell electrons are assigned to the subshell to the subshells in order of increasing value of in order of increasing value of n plus l and the second rule is that for the subshell for the subshell with the same value with same value of n plus l the electron are assigned where then where electron will go electron are assigned uh, to the subshell to the subshell with lower value of n with low lower value of n so here how we can understand these rules we can understand these rules that the electron are assigned to the subshell in order of increasing value of n plus l that is electron first will go to the s that is lowest value uh, that is lowest in energy then it will go to the p state then go to the d state then it will go to the f state and second rule is that if two orbital uh, all or uh, two two subshells have the same value of one plus l then what will happen if they have the same value of two or uh, subshell have the same value of n plus l then electron will be first electron will be assigned to the lower value of mm, uh, uh, subshell with the lower value of n then they will go to the subshell with the higher value of n so we can understand the of power principle shortly so we can write it like for principal quantum number n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 4 and for n is equals to 5 we have the subshell for n is equals to 1 we have mm, value of l are the 0 uh, it can be the 1, L can be equal to the 2, 3, 4, and up to so on. For 
n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 we have 1s subshells and then for n is equal to 2 we have 0 and 1 so here we have the 2s and 2p and then for 3a n is equal to 3 we have 3s 3p and then 3d and for n is equal to 4 4s 4p 4d and 4f and for n is equal to 5 5s 5p 5d and 5f shells and in the same way for n is equal to for example 6 we have the 6s 6 6, uh, 6s 6p and then 6d and we can have the 6f subshell as well and then here we can have subshell in this way so how the electrons are filled so for n is equal to 1 we have the lowest energy subshell which is 1s first electron will go to the 1s subshell and then for n is equal to 2 we have subshell 2s and 2p so first uh, then after 1s electron will go to the 2s and then 2p and 3s and then from uh, then electron will go to the after filling the 3s they will go to the 3p and 4s and then 3d 4p and 5s will be filled and then after that 4d 5p and 6s will be filled and after that 4f 5d and 6p after filling the 6p electron will go to the 5f and then 6s the electron so here which the electronic configuration of the phosphorus which we have already discussed the uh, atomic number of phosphorus is the 15 and so its electronic configuration will be first electron will go to the 1s subshell that is 1s2 then will go to the 2s that is 2s2 then we have the 2p6 after that electron will go to the 3s subshells then we have 3s2 after filling 3s they will go to the 3p we have 3p3 electronic configuration so from here we can easily understand uh, the, uh, that how electrons are filled in the orbital uh, in the uh, subshells uh, according to the increasing energy levels according to the off power principles Thanks for watching. For more videos, please subscribe our channel.